They, they do not want, need or find average men attractive. From his video posts, it's clear Plymouth yeah. gunman Jake Davison was deeply resentful of his lack of success with the opposite sex. In this day and age, women have nothing but options. Nothing At the very but least, options. his videos show sympathy what and understanding for those involved in the so-called incel movement of involuntary celibate men who are deeply hostile towards those, particularly women, who are sexually active. The incel movement first rose to international prominence in 2014 when Elliot Roger murdered six students at the University of California, all because he couldn't secure a relationship. I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection and unfulfilled desires. In Canada in 2018, Alec Manassian, who boasted of being an incel, used a van to knock down and kill 10 people in Toronto. They are uh, coming together in forums um, and promote really deeply dehumanizing rhetoric towards women, um, a sense of their own entitlement, a sense of injustice. In the UK, recent separate investigations prevented these two men, linked to the incel movement, from carrying out violent action. Anwar Druick and Oliver Bell had both spoken of their humiliation and frustration with the opposite sex and had attempted to make explosives. If Plymouth killer Jake Davison was in any way motivated by the incel movement, it will be of huge concern to authorities as they try to track this growing subculture of young men whose sexual loneliness and rage is increasingly manifesting in violence. Mark White, Sky News.